When I could not find stop 28, I did I not appreciate that. that. Stephen and Andy, and we started a travel vlog back home in California at a time when we couldn't really travel. Hasn't been driven in a few years. It gave us a great excuse to get out and see some things we've been putting off for way too long. Oh my god. Good morning, you guys. We're out exploring Asheville, North Carolina today. We found out about this thing called the Urban Trail, which has a lot of landmarks and stories about the city's history and culture. So we're gonna follow the trail today, see some of the official stops, and see whatever else we see along the way. But first, you know we gotta fuel up with some coffee. Heck yeah. All right, so we got some coffee here from a local shop. It's called Hi-Fi, and uh, what do you think? I think it's great. They actually have three locations in the area and they use counterculture coffee, which is roasted right here in Durham, North Carolina. So very local. Asheville is a popular little city here in Western North Carolina, and a great way to get to know the city is by taking a self-guided tour of the Urban Trail. And this Urban Trail, it starts right in front of the Art Museum, which we're definitely going to be back for once everything opens back up again. Can I just say how awesome it is to be out exploring a city again? The Urban Trail has 30 stops through downtown Asheville, so it gave us a chance to scope out some shops and restaurants along the way. Each stop is marked by a plaque. Some of them are at buildings, but most are art installations, commemorating people, places, and events in Asheville's history. These things could actually be really easy to miss if you're not paying attention, but we are at stop number three right now. It's called Stepping Out, and it's here to commemorate the old theaters that used to be in the area. Unfortunately, none of them are here anymore, but it's a nice little piece of history that this used to be a pretty popular stop for Broadway type shows. This one is especially cool because it's commemorating the first woman to achieve an MD in the United States. Her name was Elizabeth Blackwell and she was a resident of Asheville. Okay, this next stop is really cool. It's Guastavino's Monument, and it's inside the Basilica of St. Lawrence. It is America's largest self-supporting elliptical dome, and we hope we can get inside, so we're gonna check it out. All right, let's see if we can get inside. Ah, dang it. All right, well, it's locked, probably because of COVID, so we can't get inside and show you the dome, but you've probably seen Guastavino's work at Grand Central Station, Carnegie Hall, Ellis Island, hundreds of other places. So uh, be sure to check them out. I'm 
right, we're about halfway through the trail and we stopped for a lunch break. Um, this is so cool, I don't know if you can see it, but we're inside one of those pods. It's one of our first time eating inside one of these. How funny is this? It's so interesting. <laughs> but I'm so glad they're taking these safety precautions. So we've seen this place, it's called Mellow Mushroom, and we thought it was so cute we had to try it. And we love to eat local, try the local mom and pop shops whenever we travel. Um, and we assumed this was one because we've never seen one of these before. <laughs> Turns out there are 150 locations around the U.S. So, anyway, we're going to stick with it because they have this beautiful patio, the pods, the social distancing. So, this is all essential for dining during this time, right? Yeah. It, it's also got a really cute kind of hippie vibe. And, totally. Uh, it really translates into the name of some of the pizzas. There's the holy shiitake or veg out or the one we got. It's called Cosmic Karma. So, yeah. can't wait to try those. Okay, we're gonna start with a little app. We got the bruschetta. Bruschetta? I'm not sure which. I should know this. I'm half Italian. Mmm. Mmm. Excuse me. This is delicious. Really fantastic. I'm used to having it with mozzarella on there, but I've got a little feta on here today. Really different, and it's awesome. Okay, we got the Cosmic Karma pizza. This looks amazing. Look at how thick and puffy this crust is. Oh, and it's crispy. I can feel it. It's like super soft inside and crispy on the outside. It's a vegetarian pizza, so we've got some fresh tomatoes on here. Um, some sun-dried tomatoes, I think. A swirl of pesto. All right, come on. That was extremely satisfying. But what I'm most excited for is the snack we're gonna have a little later this afternoon. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, special treat. We've actually had it before, but we have to go back because it is so awesome. But before we do, we gotta finish up this trail. So we did about half of it before lunch. We've got another half to go. Um, I think we're stopping at fewer of the locations along the way here, but it's very cool. So stick with us. As we mentioned, we're not stopping at every stop here along the trail, but if you're in the area and you want to check it out for yourself, there's an amazing interactive map, and we're going to link to that below, so this way you can take a look at it and see what looks interesting to you. things I love to see when I travel, and we're definitely seeing a lot of it here in Asheville, is an old building, like for instance the Art Deco buildings we saw earlier, or this Victorian house here, juxtaposed against new construction. Modern, old, history, the present, it all comes together and it really tells the whole story about a place. This next stop is really cool. Not only does it have this beautiful Art Deco design, but when you spin the wheel, Watch this, Wheel of Fortune style. It starts playing the sounds of the evolution of transportation in the area. Everything from the sounds of the French Broad River to horses, to trains, automobiles and airplanes. stop number 24 and it's a time capsule which I love. It doesn't say much about what's inside so it sounds like we're gonna have to wait until 2047 to see if there's anything cool in there. Okay I'm right outside the fire department here near the courthouse and first off I just have to say that this fire department is way more busy than the one in our Los Angeles neighborhood. I don't know what's going on in the city, but we have been hearing sirens all day long. Anyway, the reason we're down here is because we are looking for one of these stops. It's stop number 28. It's supposed to be a plaque set in brick, and we cannot find it anywhere. We found number 29, and of course we just did 27. So if anyone has done this walk and they know where number 28 is hiding, I'm gonna put a screenshot of it in here 
let us know where the heck we're missing it because we have been everywhere. It should be across the street from where I am right now. Uh, that's pretty overblown. I know you can't see it that well, but that is the side of the fire station. And according to the map, it should be somewhere along there. So either the map is off or it's gone, or I don't know what. When I could not find stop 28, I did not appreciate that. <laughs> Well, that's it. All 30 of the stops, except for number 28, which we could not find. Yeah. And now for what we really came out here for. We are at the French Broad Chocolate Lounge. I can't help but feel a little bit Beavis and Butthead when she says that. I know, right? So there's this river here called the French Broad, and that just sounds really funny to us for, I think, obvious reasons. I don't think that's what they mean by it. I don't think they're referring to a woman. <laughs> but it sure does sound like it. Anyhow, this is the chocolate lounge that was started by a couple who moved to Costa Rica and bought an abandoned cacao plantation. While they were in Costa Rica, they opened their first cafe and they self-ordained themselves chocolate missionaries. Yeah, and then they sold their place in Costa Rica and came here to the US. And now we have this awesome stop here in Asheville to close out our day. Yeah, so let's go get ourselves a treat, shall we? Let's do it. So if you'd like to see any of the stops we went to today on the urban trail, we're gonna link to everything in the description. So take a look at that for the next time you come to visit Asheville. And as always, we'll see you next time. And thanks for watching. I have a comb over. I totally look like I have a comb over, don't I? Ugh. As always, you guys, thanks for watching and revving up our <laughs> engine in the middle of the video. <laughs>